Hey YouTube, what is up and welcome back to tutorial number 11 and in this tutorial we are finally going to start writing some CSS. So just in case you guys didn't watch my previous videos or maybe you forgot and you just found this video by accident or something, CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets and it's pretty much the language that we use to make our website look pretty. So we use CSS to change the color of our text, change the font and that kind of thing. And there are actually a few different ways that we can use to add CSS to our web page. And one of these ways is called an internal style sheet, which is what I'm going to be showing you guys in this tutorial. So to add an internal style sheet to your web page, you need to come up here to the head of your document and inside your head, you need to add in two style tags. So style and style. And obviously that one is to end it off. And in your first style tag, you have to add an attribute called type. And you need to set this equal to text slash CSS. Not CSS, this is CSS. And inside here is where we'll be putting all of our CSS code. So I'm just going to go ahead and save that. And now, in order to start styling stuff on our web page, we need to actually select an element that we want to style. So in my body of my web page here, all I've actually got is just this one paragraph that says this is an example paragraph. And why not just go ahead and style that paragraph? So in order to select that paragraph, we're just going to type in P and then we're going to open up and close our two curly braces. And inside there, we're going to select what, um, what we want to change about our paragraph. So what property do we want to change? And that is the color. And I'm actually going to just change the color to red. So what you do now is you add in a colon and then you type in red and after you finished making up whatever your style needs to be then you ch uh, have to add in a semicolon so let's go ahead and save that and then run this in Firefox and there we go we actually get a nice red paragraph if you take a look at that okay so let me just go back here and explain what I did real quick this is a paragraph and uh, what we did was we selected it. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me, I made a mistake. This is a selector and we use the selector to select whatever we want to change on our web page. And in this case, it was the paragraph. So I selected the paragraph and then we opened up our curly braces and closed them. And uh, inside here we put, we chose what property we wanted to change for our paragraph and in this case I just chose the color now there are actually hundreds of different properties I mean you can change the font family font style font type font size font weight uh, all these different types of properties that you can change and you'll probably go find a list of all the properties somewhere on Google or whatever and uh, after that, what we did was we set our color equal to a value. So this over here is the value. And the value that I chose to set my color to was just red. And uh, then what we did was we ended off our statement with a semicolon. And the colon over here means equals. I don't know why they did that in CSS. They just made a colon equals equals. You know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah. And uh, you can actually, you don't have to just type in one of these things for every element that you want to style. You can actually style multiple uh, properties of one element inside one selector. So I'm actually just going to space this out a little bit neater. And inside here, okay, we've set the color to red. And now what we can do is maybe change the font family. So you type in font minus family and then colon for equals and then we can set this equal to sans serif and semicolon and uh, now when we go back to our paragraph here you should see the, the font family should change to 
sans serif. So that's pretty cool. And uh, that's all I've got for you guys in this tutorial. I hope you guys are excited about learning about CSS and I will see you guys in the next tutorial. I would appreciate it a lot if you guys really hit that subscribe button and also don't be afraid to comment, like or share my videos. It's really going to help my channel grow. So thanks very much and I'll see you guys next time.